Okay, today we're going to be looking at uh, converting video files, AVIs, MPEGs, and uh, so on, to uh, animated GIF files. Now, uh, I'm sure there's probably a direct way to do this. I don't know a direct way to do this, but we're going to do it in a roundabout way using mplayer and the convert command, which is part of the image magic package. First off, let's look at a little AVI uh, animation I created. There we go, it's just a cube rotating. Actually, the camera is rotating around the cube, but that doesn't matter either way. So we have this little video, a little three second video, uh, I think it's like a hundred frames, yeah, a hundred frames. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that AVI file and we're going to convert it to a series of PNG files or uh, JPEG files, depending on what you prefer. And then we're going to take those and convert them into a GIF file as I showed you in the last tutorial. So let's have a quick look here. We're going to say mplayer and we're going to use mplayer uh, to convert the video to the still images. And so mplayer vo, which means video out. And here you can use PNG, or if you prefer, you can go JPEG. I'm going to go PNG. And then the name of your video file. Going to hit enter there. Runs through it real quick. All 100 frames. Now, if I list out, you can see all 100 PNGs there numbered appropriately. Now, all we have to do is go convert and we'll say asterisk.png for all PNGs and whatever we want to call our final GIF file, I'll just call it animation.gif and now we have a GIF file. Uh, let me open up here real quick. Uh, where do I want to go? We'll go to temp folder, animate, so you can see all the individual images and our GIF animation down here and our video original video file let's click on this and open it up and you can see this is our GIF file here all animated uh, now obviously there's a lot more options you could put into there as far as uh, frame rate and quality of compression but we're just going over the basics today uh, so that is our GIF file. Now obviously after you run that script you're going to want to do some cleanup. So we'll just do rm for remove uh, asterisk dot png and that will remove all those extra pngs. So we're left with just our original video and our gif file. Now gif files I mean, GIF files, they're fun to play with, you know, for websites and stuff, but they're kind of outdated and they're really kind of bulky. You're going to get low quality and a large file size. If you look at the original video which is, uh, I believe I put in a uh, XVID format, you can see that it is only uh, one, 124 kilobytes. If you look at the GIF animation, which is a lower quality, it's, it's almost eight times the size of 812 kilobytes, so keep that in mind. But if you need to convert a AVI to a GIF, animated GIF file, that is how you do it. Now there's a link in the description to my post on this with the uh, code written out so you can uh, see it again or rewind the video. But basically we used mplayer uh, to convert to PNG. So mplayer dash vo for video out. The format we want to go out to, PNG, and our AVI file that we're converting to. Then we can convert all our PNGs to an animated GIF file. And that's pretty much it other than cleaning up those extra PNG files. So once again, uh, it's a uh, uh, basically a two-step process here instead of a one direct convert from one to another, and I'm sure there is a way to do that, but this will work, and it's pretty quick and simple. So I thank you for watching, and once again, visit filmsbychris.com, check out the links in the description, and have a great day.